Welcome back ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Buck here, and today I'm doing another review of a fantastic video game. That game is The Sims 3 Island Paradise. But before we get going here, I just want to real quickly, for those of you who have not seen my video game reviews, I base my reviews off of five criteria. How fun it is, graphics, quality, or what I mean by quality is like effort in the storyline and effort overall difficulty and whenever I do it by difficulty you know I mean there are some games out there that are tougher than others but um I don't really um, give them a bad review just because it's too hard because some games are meant to be a little harder and time or how long the story is so without further ado let's get into the review hello ladies and gentlemen and here we are in the new town uh, that comes with Island Paradise a very nice looking area much much larger than the um, town uh, that you actually have in the rest of the game and the little towns and whatnot but this place is absolutely huge uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because we got a lot of stuff to cover I'm gonna actually go ahead and just kinda zoom into the area of the family I picked I'm gonna kinda show off some of our, our different houses I have in the game and uh, for some reason here let me zoom out they're all over the place what is that why are they out boating anyway uh, I've had a little time to go ahead and play the game, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at some of the new items you get. And we're going to start off by, we're just going to go by function, and I'm going to have it filtered out by Island Paradise items only, kind of get an idea of what items are added to the game. It's not necessarily the items added to the game, it's all these awesome new abilities that I will discuss later. Uh, there are no new sinks, but the toilets, the all-in-one bathroom, of course, that's going to be kind of uh, useful for on your uh, houseboat when you're out in the water, kind of take up less space. Um, of course, the new bathtubs include the all-in-one uh, bathroom, and here's a new uh, bathtub. And then, of course, miscellaneous, you have two new hot tubs. There are no new appliances in this, and I believe there are a couple new uh, tables here. You have one new end table, two new coffee tables, which I think is funny. They consider these uh, coolers to be coffee table, uh, like a coffee table. It's kind of neat. And then no miscellaneous. Of course, you have one new bed, dining chair, a new looking dining chair, a new looking living room chair, two new couches or sofas. Uh, you got some new loungers, kind of neat looking lounges. Then in miscellaneous, you have a new tent and looks like another high chair, kind of a neat looking high chair. The only new electronic that came is the underwater camera. And yes, I said underwater, you get to go scuba diving in this game, which is actually awesome. Sporting goods, of course, is going to include some of the uh, boats in here, which we'll actually cover those later. And then miscellaneous, we have the vanity bonfire. The flaming fire pit and the coal stroll fire pit, which <laughs> obviously I'm not going to do in real life. Several new lighting material. We won't spend too much time with that. Lots and lots of new decor items. Storage. Kids items. None of that. That vehicles. That's what everyone's wanting to see. Of course, you've got the new boats. Or these are both um, wind boats. They actually give you some physical fitness whatnot. Oh, excuse me, here's the mooring cleat, which you actually have to have out in the water. It's rather large. You have the, this is the mooring post, much easier to use, and actually it's what you're going to use publicly. I believe the mooring cleat's more of a, oh, community thing. You've got a boat trailer, kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and place that, because you can place your boats in it. You have the Lazy Daisy Paddle Boat, kind of a cute looking little paddle boat. You got a row boat, actually a lot larger than the paddle boat. You have the Slade, the Indomitable Paddle Boat, kind of neat. You have the Aqua Sled, the personal watercraft, or what would be known as a jet ski. Nice looking uh, sailboat there. The Scrimtron Outboard Speedboat, and another speedboat by Public. Uh, what did that say? Domains. There we go. Those are all your new vehicles for uh, the game. Pretty exciting. And uh, here, real quickly, let me get back out to edit town mode. We're actually going to go ahead now and show you how you build your own houseboat, which 
in order to do, it actually took me a while to figure out, you have to go to one of these, any one of these, uh, let's see, where are they? Ports. You actually click on them and click on set houseboat. You get to choose from these different sizes. The barges are just kind of square. They don't really look like boats to me. That's why I'd rather use curved boats, which actually aren't as big, but just because, you know, they're curved, they actually look like real boats. So that's why I kind of want to use that instead. But if you want a really big boat, you can do the barge style. But anyway, it gives you this platform and you basically just build like you would any other house. And whenever you are in the game, um, you actually can pick anywhere on the map to sell this boat and it's your house. And uh, the first question that came to me was, um, well, it's just a boat. You don't want to live on a boat your whole life, which gets me to my first awesome feature they added to the game. You can own more than one home in this game. And yes, you use your cell phone, which I'm actually here. I'll do that later. I'll click on a sim in their cell phone. You actually can click on an option, uh, purchase additional property. So you can actually own an actual house, go live in it, or you can come to your boat house. So that's really awesome, a really cool feature. So let's, uh, as you can see, I'm not going to really get into detail with building. I like to take more time with that. But um, here is something you can't delete. It's actually the controls for the boat. You can put that anywhere in the boat, and that's where your sim will go. Here's your little mailbox, the colonial mailbox, and it actually puts on a houseboat trash can. So apparently this is like a trash can that you'll never have to recycle. It'll just get rid of it. But anyway, there you have it. Very nice looking port. This is the really, I'd say this is the biggest one. It's the widest of the curved boats, and I'm... As you could see in the options, you had some larger options. And of course, the boats you could buy in the house menu, you actually can run them around from your home, which is really neat. But it's even neater, the fact that you could actually build a houseboat, and you just click anywhere on the map, and you can go there, and you can stop anywhere, and just be out on the water. All right, let's return to edit town mode. And as I already said, this map is huge. That's one major thing about this. It's unbelievably big. And they actually, what I've, I'm so happy they did this. They should have done it so much sooner. You can actually place these lots almost anywhere you want to. So whenever you're, and that's obviously too big of a lot, but you actually can just make it go right off into the into the water right off the beach and I don't know why it's not doing it there but as you can see this little house right here the property actually let me deselect that goes off into the water right here I'm not entirely sure how they did it but it actually works and as you can see you can actually own a section out here in the water and that's pretty awesome I don't know if you personally wait a minute what did it do did it actually is that land now it doesn't seem right regular lot let me look here real quick but I know there are several places out there that are just out in the middle of the water so like this one it's a community lot called the Rocky Reef which you actually can purchase that it's kind of neat but anyway I would say you have to go in and like lower that to where it's actually not looking like land I don't think it's meant to actually look like land but I am deleting that I don't want that randomly there so we'll get rid of that. Alrighty. But like I said, absolutely gigantic map. Alright, let's go ahead and return to the game. Just continue. I'm going to go ahead and I believe I want it to go to the character so you can actually see them do different things. Actually see them drive the houseboat. I don't know if she... I don't know. Yeah, let me zoom back in. What we'll do here, we'll see if this person... Let's see, is she an adult? She doesn't look like one. Apparently she is. She owns this store. That's kind of neat. She owns the consignment store. Anyway, go onto the phone. Go to Real Estate and Travel Services. Purchase Additional Home. Resort Owner. Become a Resort Owner. That's pretty awesome. And of course, you got some of your other uh, options you already have. And here's the next feature I wanted to show you awesome you actually can move to one of your other towns either that you've created in the world builder or just one of the other ones that's already included in the sims 3 without actually having to like transfer them and all kinds of complicated stuff they actually can move between worlds so we actually kind of have an interconnection 
between worlds, which is pretty awesome. All right, we're going to go ahead and see what happens when we purchase an additional home. Now, as you notice down here, they have more money than what they actually start with if you play this family. Um, I added uh, with a cheat code to give them more money so I can buy all the extra stuff to show you guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and try and purchase an extra home. And I know it's a crappy little boat, but we are going to purchase the boat we just uh, placed there. So now that she's done that, we're going to go to this port. It's called promising and prominent port well the one on the left is prominent and uh, this is kind of like your home dock you actually can change it at any time you can go to any dock available which I don't know if anyone else can come to it I think it's your dock and your dock only you don't actually can you can't actually build anything along the side but anything on your boat you can build now we'll have to wait for her to get here we'll speed up time all right, she's almost here. And where is she? And actually, now that I think of this, I don't know why there's a little thing moving around, but uh, let's see. It is possible to actually control other Sims, or like multiple families. You can have one family in one house, and another family in the other, and that's obviously it's possible because you can own multiple properties. All right, let's go ahead and get her on the boat. And I don't care what you're doing at the gym; you can do what you want. Must be uh, Robo, Robo, because that—that's what you're usually comes on whenever you're not controlling them. So maybe because I have played this for a little over an hour, obviously, but not as much as you would think. Maybe there are some options in here that actually allow the free will stuff to be a little different I don't think so I got the sim autonomy turned off so these people are actually doing their own free will stuff and I really don't know why they have this little thing going um, this little sim icon maybe it's somehow I don't know I know I'm just kind of blabbing on here, not very useful information. There's probably a way to allow different people to have kind of their own free will while you're, you and your main character go do other things. But let's go ahead. We're going to click Move House Boat. Pick anywhere in the whole area, which I just clicked one not too far away. Now she's driving the boat. And there you have it. She drove her boat, and it's going to stop right where I clicked. And it does not have to move. It's going to stop there. So yeah, I'll try my best to figure out what that is and maybe get back to you guys because it is kind of irritating. I mean, it's great that you don't have to control them while you're controlling the other sim, but anyway, we'll figure this out. But that's awesome. That's kind of the feature right there. I think I've told you just about everything that I wanted to tell you covering this uh, um, review. But as for most of you that don't know, you can actually go scuba diving, you can own your own resorts, you can actually, there's a new kind of like super sim, you might say it, you know, because you've got vampires and stuff in the other games. There are now mermaids in this game, which you can play. They don't have to like eat or, or, eat or drink anything, but they can dehydrate or something like that. I, uh, I may have that wrong, but still. And uh, there are new ways to die in the game. You can actually drown, you can be attacked by sharks, and there's even a new kind of a, a mystical creature in the game, as you will. And I, uh, here's a spoiler alert. Don't, you know, listen to me if you don't want to know it, but there is a creature called the Kraken in this game that can attack you. So, anyway. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and give you my review, final review of the game. On my five basic criteria, as I had showed you in the beginning of the video, the intro, based on how fun it was, the graphics, quality, difficulty, and time, we give it a 4.96 out of 5 stars. Excellent game. I love it. I recommend it to anyone. I got the limited edition for only 40 bucks. You can't beat that. So anyway, for how fun it was, I give it a 5. Excellent game. 
graphics. The graphics never did change really for The Sims 3. It's always going to be The Sims 3 graphics until they come out with The Sims 4. And I'm satisfied with it. You know, it's a little laggy with my graphic card, but uh, I can always lower the settings if needed. So graphics are pretty excellent. Uh, quality, I think they did an excellent job. I gave it a 5 as well uh, on the quality era. So I think they did a pretty good job making the game. Uh, difficulty, I, that's where I give it a little bit of a killer. Only two tenths. 4.8 is what I give it. I had a trouble figuring out how to do the houseboat. There's a few things I still have to kind of figure out on my own. But they don't really give you <clears throat> much help when it comes to that. But anyway, uh, 4.8. That's not, that's not even hardly a dent in it, you know. So, And then, of course, time. How long the storyline is. The Sims 3 is an open game, so there's no way you can criticize it for that fifth point. So obviously, yes, 5 out of 5 for the time. So anyway, 4.96 out of 5 is the total review, as I have already said. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, most importantly, because if you want to stay up to date on my reviews, Let's Play games, any tips I might have for The Sims 3, or any other game I might do, just let me know.